99% of the gurus all over the internet are pushing the don't go to college agenda. And if I had listened to them, I would have definitely regretted it. This is a video that 14 year old me would have definitely needed. So when I was a freshman in high school, I became a content creator. And for some context, I'm a senior in high school right now. When it came to personal development and anything marketing related or business related, I consumed a lot of content through books, podcasts, articles, anything you could think of, I got my hands on it and started learning. And then I would turn my knowledge into content. And eventually my numbers on social media started to grow. I was building in public. I was building a brand under my name. I was creating content across Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and my podcast. Fast forward over the course of my two years building online, I've been able to make over six figures, over $100,000 online. I even befriended a bunch of other creators as well, which is a pretty cool perk when it comes to creating content online. And while I was growing and my social media started taking off, I always got the question, Nitty, are you planning to go to college? And they'd always ask this because they know I was only 14, 15, 16, 17 at the time. And my answer would always be no. See, the thing is, I learned a lot from the internet, but I was also very impressionable because I was so young. And I said no mindlessly because I always heard these gurus preaching, you don't have to go to college, don't go to college. Nitty, you seem like you'd be better off if you didn't go. I always received negative criticism towards college from top creators that I looked up to. So I just went with it and I was like, yeah, I don't need college. I'm too good for college. And I would just think it's not for me. So then I decided if I'm not going to college, I need to have something solid holding me together before I'm 18 years old. So I made the goal to make $100,000 before I'm 18. It felt like my future was dependent on growing my social media as if I wouldn't have a good future if this didn't work out. I was constantly glued to my screen. It felt like the internet was my life, like it was my only life. And I remember always feeling down for the pressure that I put on myself because of the goals that I had to obtain before I turned 18 in order to have a good future. I mean, yeah, I hit those goals, but was that timeline acceleration worth my peace? The whole thing just felt rushed and anxiety driven. And I go by this general rule that if you feel anxious, you're probably not moving in the right direction. And on top of that, my parents were not happy with the fact that I constantly said that I didn't want to go to college. And you know the thing with immigrant parents is that they come to this country so that they can provide a better life for you and you can get your education and that's their number one goal. And when their little daughter is telling them I don't want to go to college just because of this online stuff, it breaks their heart. And so my parents were not very happy with the fact that I kept repeating that I don't want to go to college. So what did I do? Well, my gut gave me all the answers as it should. You know, you always trust your gut instincts. All it took was some introspection and some self-awareness and a fresh mind clear of any bias. What I decided to do was to speak to some family members and see what they say about going to college versus not going to college. And what I noticed was all the successful family members that I have they all went to college. As I started to have more conversations with my family and counselors and parents and teachers and people that I really look up to, and even some other top creators that I never had conversation with that ended up giving me positive insight about college, I started looking at the other side of things. I envisioned myself getting an education, you know, to become more respected with a degree behind my name. And at the same time, strategically use that degree to build a great future. This is my opportunity to repay my parents for their sacrifices, especially my mother. You know, they're immigrants, they work very hard, but they raised me to be such a good student and be such a smart person, a great individual, well-rounded individual, that the least I can do is fulfill their little dream of me going to college. And at the same time, I could look at it in a positive light and use that degree, use what they want for me, to build an amazing future. It works out. I love who I am and it's all because of them. So who am I not to repay them for all the sacrifices? So just a month ago, I finished a bunch of college applications to the colleges I wish to attend. And then a few weeks ago, I got a bunch of acceptance letters and scholarships in the mail. And as I'm opening these letters, I remember my parents told me, you achieved our dream. Do you know how much that hit? Do you know how much that means to me? That gave me goosebumps. And see, the thing is to me that I can do both. I can do college and I can do an online business. I don't have to choose. And it's nobody else's choice but mine. And here's how I knew I made the right decision. Because as soon as I told myself that I'm going to college, my mental health improved. I felt calmer and happier and all the anxiety, everything that I was feeling finally disappeared. 
and I realized that life is bigger than the internet. All these gurus will try to push everything on you, but you have to make your own choice. You have to make a decision that resonates with you. Who was I to say that, yeah, college isn't for me? When I excelled in school, I still take AP and honors classes. Who am I to say that college isn't for me? I was just mindlessly taking the advice of those gurus and top creators because I respected them. But the thing is, you have to have self-awareness and you have to know who you are in order to make your own decisions. So here's my advice to 14 year old me, or let's say there are other online creators who are around my age watching this video. Have a plan and aim for a specialized degree. Generalists lose and specialists win. Remember that. See, look at it like this. You'd rather get a marketing degree or an accounting degree rather than a business administration degree. And here's why. If you get a business administration degree, it's down here. You can't do marketing. You can't do accounting. You can't do jobs related to consulting or any of those things. But if you get an accounting degree, I can do everything under that because it's specialized and it's more higher up than a business administration degree. So you'd rather specialize. And you should also use college as an opportunity to network and socialize. COVID took away two years from us, from school to you know make new friends and socialize and learn how to communicate better. And a lot of people became worse at their communication skills because of these two years. So here's my plan. So I'm gonna go to college for accounting. I'm gonna get a few internships, work for a corporation for a few years. And then eventually I'm gonna start my own accounting firm so I can do what I do best, which is oversee a business and pursue an entrepreneurial endeavor. I'm gonna gain a bunch of valuable friendships, connections, make bunch of nice memories. And I'm gonna continue building this online brand while I build a life outside of the internet, which feels to be more important to me. If you go to college, they'll tell you you're wasting your time and money. If you don't go to college, they'll tell you you'll end up broke with no future. Whatever path you choose, don't let society shame you for it. Don't mindlessly take other people's advice without really figuring out if this is the best thing for you and the life you're trying to live. So don't be afraid to make your own path and do what's best for you.